Good afternoon and welcome back to our Yakuza Kiwami 2 Let's Play, episode 28 now, and potentially the final chapter of the uh, Cabaret Club Grand Prix stuff. So we're just going to get straight into it today, open up the club, I gotta get the girls reset. Because I had to give the art of the girls a break so that way they're at full strength going into the next chunk. Now, Yuki doesn't have a side story, at least opened up yet, so I wasn't able to get her maxed out, but I was able to get out Yua's maxed out in her side story, which you will see later. Uh, let's see, we'll bring in, let's see, who, let's see, you're on average, uh, yeah, we'll bring Meta and, uh, I already have you. You know what, actually, this is controversial, but we're going up against Four Shine. So we gotta bring in, I feel like we gotta bring in Endo. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we, we, we gotta bring them. Just for, we're going up against Four Shine. So that way we have Yuki. Endo and Seiko all come in with us. It feels right. I'm going to attempt the final match. Oh. Almost, I mean, 5,000 5, away from double their overall fans, but uh, I think we got this. Let's give it a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, my deepest apologies for the wait. It's time for the Cabaret Club Grand Prix Finals. I'm your host, Goro Majima. He's really owning this, isn't he? Uh. Yeah, he doesn't take half measures. In this corner, Cabaret Club Grand Prix Champion, the Sotenbori Sunshine. Featuring the legendary hostess Kirara, this club's a world-famous establishment with some real clout. In the other corner, the challenger, Sotenbori Forshine. Today, they aim to take down a legend, but do they have the skills to pay those bills? Kirara-chan, Yuki-san, it's taken a long time, but I'm glad we're finally doing this. To truly become a legend, I need to beat you. The hostess world can only speak of one legend. And it's going to be me. It's never been about the status for me, but I can't lose all the same. The path I've walked, the girls I've worked alongside, the customers who love us, I'll prove them right. This is where it ends, Kenzaki. Hmm. You're just a motley collection of drifters. With or without the inside sources, we're stronger. Now, we'll show you. Let's get this Cabaret Club battle started. Starts with the left. It's the Cabar Cabaret Club Grand Prix. I'm your host, Goro Majima. Who's gonna get Lady Luck's smile tonight? Please tell me he pops up. Please tell me he pops up like the other guy did. The final battle. Perfect. That's thumbnail material right there. Okay. You're requesting... Why do you gotta be requesting someone who's taken? Kana, you take over. Like, I have all these other girls that you could request. Okay. 
They're gonna start a fever and it's going to screw us up. Okay, Shoko. Help, please. Menu. Why is theirs growing so quicker? We're already ahead in money. I call hacks. Enjoy? Yeah. What's it gonna do? Oh. That's no bueno. But it's okay. We got this. We're still ahead. Enjoy, sir. In fact, some of our other girls, they survived that. So we're good. It's because they were requests. One mil in the bank. If I may. Enjoy, sir. Okay. Who are you requesting? Someone who's currently... Okay, Kana. Okay, we got we got a hold. Actually, you're requesting Shoko. Perfect. Okay, check. Okay, we extend session. We extend session. Oh, declined. It's okay. It's okay. We we get what we can. Extend session. Two extensions. And we pop off. There we go. So even if they... Um... I feel like they're gonna use it here soon anyways. That's okay. Help over here. Ladies glass. Use this break. Crack her fingers. Crack the neck. Oh, much better. Use the cutscenes. As moments that we really don't have to think for a second. Help please. Reef are, uh, that was ladies. This is actually a lot closer than what I was hoping, and I do not like it. One bit. How much time do we even have left? I gotta check my second monitor since my camera is covering the minute and a half. Okay. Check. Uh, give the girl a reward. Because getting fans right now is not the goal. We need any recovery that we can get. Reward. Reward. Check. Uh, you're not that high, so praise. One tycoon. Uh, yeah. You get in there. Thank you, Kayuki. 
Okay. If we can get one more person sitting. Oh, that's not what I was wanting, but do you know what? We can turn it around. We can turn it around, because we're almost at three. We got a minute. We just gotta get these seats filled back in. Aika. Yuki, come on, give me the next one. Come on. Kana. Forty seconds. Yuki. Oh, I'm not liking this. <sighs> Damn it. Come on. Fell in the spots. 30. Ah. Uh. Help. Ah, oh, that's menu. I'm gonna have to use it after this one. Uh, does it matter who I sit? Come on, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Just skip the cutscene. Extend session. Excellent. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Just ahead, just ahead, just ahead, just ahead, just. Gonna give us the bonus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's way too close. That is way too close. I do not like how close that was. Please, for the love of God, let that have been enough. That special bonus was worth a mil. Okay. Oh. And the winner is... Sotenbori for Shine! Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> we really did it. Yay. We did it, Yuki-san. Yeah, we did. It's all thanks to you guys, too. And you too, Kiryu-san. You did great, Yuki-san. A new grand champion is born today. A job well done, Forshine. Heh. <laughs> I lost, Yuki-san. Kirara-chan. Yuki-san, you deserve to be the legend you are. Looking at you tonight, I saw the same dream I used to chase. I think the title and the status have gone to my head. I still have so much left to learn. Not at all. You are amazing out there, Karara chan It's only because of you that we had to push ourselves so hard. Thank you for a great match. Yuki-san. Likewise. A handshake shared between two legends of the biz. Emotions are running raw tonight, folks. Impossible. I practically sold my soul to the devil to come this far. And now I've lost. Kazaki-san, it's time to come clean. Why did you push us out of sunshine? Why did you take it over like that? I remember a time when you were an earnest worker. A little serious sometimes, but you put the customer first.
Sometimes the darkest path is the most convenient, I guess. What do you mean? In my time of sunshine, I made a foolish mistake and consigned a loan for a friend. Co-signed a loan for a friend. It saddled me with massive debt. Financial advisor I went to suggested that buying out cabaret clubs would be an easy way to recoup. I see. All I had to do was force out the girls making the most money and jeopardize the club's bottom line to lower its value. At first it felt wrong, but it paid so well. And it was so easy to do, I was able to justify it. It was going smoothly. It was hard to feel guilt anymore. I was even I was even considered a safe, safe bet by investors. They told me if I could buy out the sunshine, they'd invest in what they could what they would to become the Kunzaki group. I didn't even think twice that I would be betraying my own employers. It was an obsession at that point. I may have seen been the owner of the Kanzaki group, but it's not like the investors were patiently waiting for their returns. It was a constant struggle to stay afloat. I gave in to one too good to be true scheme after another. Kanzaki kun. Be careful with Kanza with success, Yuki san. You'll end up like me, embraced by the cold false hands of financial independence. Fortunately, that's not possible for me. Huh? You're right. Those sensations are dangerous, and they're ever-present, pre too. It's easier to reach out to them. I'll even, I've even been tempted by some awful schemes. I don't claim to be a saint. But you know why I never gave in? Because I'm too proud of the work I do. Of the club. Of the girls. Of the staff. Too proud. I owe a lot to this job. It showed me who I was, but more importantly, who I could become. I love my work. So no matter how easy the money or how simple the life might become, I would never disgrace my, disgrace my club to do it. Yuki. So I'll be the change I want to see. I'll prove work isn't just a shortcut to wealth or some final escape. If I don't, it wouldn't be fair to all the girls who put their dreams on the line to work for us, right? Yuki-san. Hostesses sell dreams to their customers to make their own come true. If the club doesn't have their back, we don't deserve them at our tables. Right on. Add a girl. Selling dreams, huh? You think you can see that through forever? My hands are permanently stained. I'll be back to challenge you, to tear down those lofty words and all ideals. Kanzaki kun. If you still want to try after you start over from scratch, I'll be there. Bring it. Yuki san. That was the coolest thing you've ever said. I'm not cut out for being cool. That's exhausting. All the same, that was really well said, Yuki-san. Eh, was it? Eh, pretty badass, Yuki-chan. Well, once more for the folks back home. Foreshine is the new grand champ. I've just been told Kanzaki and Buono have been arrested for their crimes. That settles that, huh? Yeah. Nothing ever settles in this business. Just like Yuki said, there's always someone looking for a quick way to win. Uh, really, Kiryu-san? I'm tired of having to fight for my club. <laughs> You'll keep fighting. You love it too much. Hey, come on, we're gonna get ready for our Grand Prix challenges, right? You always take this long with your makeup, Kirara-san? Mm hmm? Hmm? I think I'm about average. Makeup is as much of a weapon as a smile, like a chan Since when is two hours average? That's long even for me. Hey, I had a pudding cup over here. Anyone seen it? I get it, kind of chan Oh, okay. Wait, what? You can't just eat other people's pudding cups, you a chan Come on, guys, get it together. We're gonna open. What a shameful display. Uh, oh, Yuki-san. You'll discover how easy it is to stay calm if you prepare for the evening in advance like me. A hostess is 80% prep, 20% improv. Keep that ratio in mind and you'll be legends in no time. Yuki-san, you're still wearing slippers. I am? Oh crap. Yuki-san. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cabaret Club Grand Prix. Today begins Club Forshine sent as the new Grand Champion. The finest club with a lineup of knockouts. Is this the end of the story? Or merely the beginning? The Cabaret Club world will have to keep both eyes on this place for sure. 
Everybody ready? Let's go out there and be ourselves today. Yeah. The man with the plan. I'm going all out. Sure thing. I'm ready for this. Just another day in paradise. For our customers, for ourselves, let's do what we love. Hey, this is our first time defending our title. Should we do the thing? Oh, good idea. You're in too, right, Kiryu-san? Heh. <laughs> Just this once. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta be ready for a scream cap for this one. One. Two. <laughs> Excellent. I did not have that memorized and I would have stopped my computer, which is right there. Keep Rara joined. An eye for talents. Legends of the Nightlife. So now that's all taken care of. I'm sure. See so you're there. You're about to start doing the typing thing. So I'm sure my chair is falling. Wish you could customize Four Shine like you could in uh, what you in uh Zero. Would you stop, you damn chair? Okay, let's see if there's anything new when we come in, or do we just always have Championship open f to open for our nights? Nope, that is closed. That's just all that. Club management. Oh, we can't customize uh, Yuki. Oh, that's sad. Because there's a... Uh, one of the items that you can get was... It's her dress from. Which is upsetting. I was hoping to kind of have that in the video. But oh, well. Anyways, let's see if there's... Uh, if that opened up anything else out here, if not, um, I think we do what we did last time and we go hunting for some street bosses again. If it will load. There's a side story? Oh, okay. Uh, busy, busy, busy. Yuki-san, you seem a little stressed. Ah, Kiryu-san, I am... I am, now that we've won the Cabaret Club Grand Prix, we have more customers than we can handle. But I can't let it become a burden to the girls. As the owner, it's my job to manage this. True, but don't bite off more than you can chew, okay? Uh, it'll be worse if you collapse or something. You're right. Thank you. Oh, speaking of thank yous, I have something for you, Kiryu-san. Hmm? What is it? Consider this, um, like a bonus. Please, I want you to have it. Oh. This is way too much. Oh, hardly. We only won the Grand Prix because of you, our thanks to you. I wanted to give you a token of our appreciation. But I was already getting paid. That's why it's called a bonus, Kiryu-san. Please, just take it with my compliments, please. If you insist. Oh no, I have so much shopping to do. Would you mind watching the club for a little while, Kiryu-san? Sure, I can handle that. Thank you, see you later then. This is way too much money. Yuki-san really looks after me, but this is above and beyond. I know what to do then. This money is going to go towards a present for Yuki-san. Okay. But what would she even want? Hmm. I know. Ask the others. They know best. Oi. You are. Got a minute? Sure. What's up? It's about Yuki. I was hoping I can find a present to give her as a thanks for taking such good care of me. Okay. Well, for me, I'd go with a doll or a stuffed animal. I see. That's certainly fem feminine. Well, with accessories and bags and all that, every girl has her own style, you know? It's tough to get it right, 
But every girl loves stuffed animals, as long as there aren't weird, like, frill neck lizards or something. And I happen to know Yuki loves them. She does? Mm-hmm. Apparently she has this big stuffed Chinese dumpling she bought overseas. I hear she uses it as a body pillow. Uh, oh, that's... well, maybe a stuffed animal doll might be good then. Thanks for your help. Of course. Remember, don't get her anything weird and you'll be fine. Uh, let's see who else I can ask. Oi. Shoko, you got a minute? Of course, Kiryu-san. What's on your mind? It's about Yuki. I was hoping I could find a present to give her as thanks for taking such good care of me. Hmm. Present for Yuki-san. If it were you, what would you hope to get in this case? If it were me, I think I'd want something that reminded me of you, Kiryu-san. Something sentimental? Yes. It isn't important to remember who a present comes from? If it's a gift from someone important to you, no matter what it is, I think you'll treasure it for life. The best presents remind you of the person and all the memories you've shared together. Got it. It's true what they say about memories living longer than when they are when they drill, dwell in an object and not just in your mind. Oh, Gary Zahn, you're such a sensitive soul. And do I and I do apologize if that was a vague answer. No, that was really helpful. Thanks. Something that can remind her of me at a glance. I hadn't thought of that. Who else can I ask? I'll ask Yuta. Yuta-san. Ah, Kiryu-san. Anything I could help you with? Well, I was hoping you could tell me a bit about Yuki. Oh, why's that? Well, I feel like Forshine has only made it this far thanks to her efforts. Even I've grown a lot working here, and I want to show her my gratitude with the present of some oh. kind. Oh, now I see. And now you're stumped about what to get her? Yeah, pretty much. Well, Yuki-chan's life is at the club, so I think it'll be fitting to give her something that she could use here. For her work? Exactly. Maybe something the club doesn't have that she doesn't even know she's missing. It's clear she has all the necessities already, so I think something along the lines of something that would make something along the lines of something that'd make a nice addition. That makes sense, but I'm drawing a blank. Let's see, maybe something decorative? Mm -hmm. You mean like a picture? Sure. Painting, statues, vases. You certainly don't need them, but they add a bit of atmosphere, don't they? Hmm, I haven't thought of that. I think she'd appreciate something that made the club a little more cheerful. No problem, I'm sure Yuki-chan can will be happy with whatever you decide. I appreciate the help. Something decorative, huh? Okay. Uh, do -do -do. Kirara? Oi. You got a minute, Kirara? Uh -huh. Hey, Kiryu-san. You finally come around to asking me out? Uh, no, not today. I was hoping you could tell me a bit about Yuki-san. Yuki-san? Now you're just trolling with me. What about her, though? Well, she's really taking care of me here, and I want to get her something, but I'm not sure what. <laughs> oh, how considerate. A rare quality in, in a man, you know? <laughs> hey, no teasing. If it were you, what would you like? If it were me, I'd want something expensive with high resale value. So what you're saying, you just sell it off. Perhaps... But in this business, price is often a direct correlation to the depth of one's love. Therefore, for the higher the value, the more points you win. After all, nobody spends an exorbitant amount of money on someone they don't care about. You make a good point. Thanks for the insight. Ever a pleasure. Good luck finding something she doesn't just pawn off. I think that's probably enough to go on. A doll, something expensive, something decorative. A memento of me. I need a deciding factor. Yo, Forshine! Rolling in the sweet cash today? Oh, Majima. Majima-san. Majima-san. You're here too, Kiryu-chan. Feels like it's been Kiryu-chan everywhere lately. Isn't that my line? Anywhere. Anyway, why are you here? My cabaret club commentary is all, is all the rage, actually. So I've been coming out here to work every so often. Oh, I wouldn't have thought. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Where's Yuki-chan? Wait. Don't Majima-san and Yuki-san go way back? Maybe he'd know some of her interest. Hey, Majima-san. Would you mind if I asked you a question? Ooh. Yeah? Ain't that a question in itself? You better not be dragging me back into the Tojo clan again, Kiryu-chan. No, no, no. It's not that serious. Oh, if it isn't Kiryu-chan and Majima-san. What are you two? What are you two in cahoots? About now, whatever it is, I'm in. 
Oh, there you are, Yuki-chan. Hey, Majima-san. Let's get to the back. Yeah? What's the big idea, Kiryu-chan? Hmm? I get it. A present for Yuki-chan. Yeah, so far I have a doll, decorations, something expensive with high resale value, and a memento of me. Again, a lost here. Do you have any advice, Majima-san? When do I not? If it were me, I'd give her... All of it. All of it? Hell yeah. All of that's gonna send her over the moon, right? Why be stingy? And if you give her all that, does that mean her smile is gonna be that much bigger? I guess I was limiting to myself when I was thought of it being only one thing. You're right, Majima-san. Have I ever still your, steered you wrong, Kiryu-chan? But picking up all that stuff is going to be a huge hassle. I'll give you that. Why not give her the one thing that's all of those things? A doll, a decoration, high resale value, and something that reminds her of me? What could even fit those requirements? Well, what's your buzzer here? I have a ridiculous amount of money. The sky's the limit. A golden statue of myself. That's it. Kiryu-san, you wanted to see me? Yeah, Yuki-san. You've really taken great care of me here. I wanted you to get something to repay the favor. What? For me? Oh, pish posh. I'm the one who should be grateful. Yeah. No, I couldn't let it end like that. This represents how I feel, so... Once you accept it... Kiryu-san. Okay, if that's how you really feel, I graciously accept. You could have just told me, though, honestly. Yeah, I'm happy to hear it. So... What is this gift? I'm getting excited. Heh. <laughs> All in good time. First, I want you to know that I chose it after I gathered everyone's thoughts. Really? You were all in on this? Heh <laughs> Thank you so much. Whatever it is, I'm going to treasure it forever. That's all I wanted to hear. And without further ado, my gift to you, Yuki-san, is this. <laughs> Yeah. Speechless, I take it. It'll be great for the club decor. It's really expensive. It'll remind you of me, and it's perfect for a figure collector. <laughs> Man, only a class act manager puts something like this in a club. Sales are gonna skyrocket now, right, Yuta-chan? Ah. Yes, it's very chic. I get pumped up just looking at it. It's gonna be another great day. Yeah. Hmm? Yuki-san, what's going on over here? Ew, where did this tasteless statue come from? Gross. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want this. That that that's absolutely perfect. Though I wish I, I would have tilted it so that way it's more like looking out over the uh, club. But that's just me. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that pops up. And the reason why I was able to guess a golden statue of myself was because you could do that in Yakuza 0. Um, yet yeah, nothing over here. Uh, so make sure nothing opened up over in, uh, I was going to say Sotenbori, but that's where we're at, Kamurocho. And if there's nothing there, we'll hunt down a street boss. And by hunt down a street boss, I mean I will do what we did last time. I will cut. So that way you don't have to go through the pain of uh, watching me fail trying to find a street boss. Because I think there's nine here. And there should be nine in Sotenbori. But I want to take care of one section before I tackle the other. Personally, 
Anything fun over here? Nope. In that case, that settles it. I will be back with the street boss. Well, when I get the email for a street boss. See you in a minute. Okay. That was a long grind. That was probably at least 30 minutes of me trying to get this message. Finally, okay. Uh, where do we gotta go? Uh, Roulette as always, aren't we? Resolute as always, aren't we? Putting all the troublemakers in their place and whatnot, no matter, no wonder Master Kamaki favors you. So for the rest, here's some guy who started calling himself the next gen of Yakuza. He's around Pink Street. So... Right there. Actually, a little, just, just up the road from the, uh... Ambush dude. I'm going to... Top off there. Alright, we'll just, we'll just go from there. Okay. Hey, you in the white suit. I hear uh, you was one of them old-timey Yakuza. One of my uh, subordinates was telling me. Now, uh, don't try to... I ain't trying to cramp your style or nothing, but between us boys, all a gangsta needs nowadays is a gun. And Now, am I right or am I right? You want to test that out? Hey, hey, it sounds like you want to have some fun. All right, then. I'll show you the moxie of the new generation of Yakuza. Now. Lock on. Okay. That's right in my kidney. Okay. Hold on. Okay, first we heal. Um, equipment. Make sure that's equipped. Do I got a gun? I do not. Okay, you are just annoying. Who needs gun when you have heat? Five street bosses down. Jeez Louise, you clobbered me like an animal. I never would have thought the fist was mightier than the gun. Looks like I gotta start back from scratch, if you know what I mean. Here, this is for teaching me something good, take it. 
Okay. Done. I'm going to call it for this episode because that grinding was so painful. Anyways, you guys enjoyed finishing off the uh, Cabaret Club main story sub section, I guess would be the best way to put it. Let me know down in the comment section below and maybe even leave a like down there while you're at it. Really, really appreciate it with all that grinding it took to get to this guy. Also, if you haven't already, also consider subscribing if you haven't and hitting that notification bell so you know when more Yakuza is heading your way. Until next time.